truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Howdy, y'all. Guess who's a big fat liar? It's me. Um, remember when I was like, man, I'm sure gonna play a uh, fucking Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, so that was a fucking lie. Yeah, this is probably good. So, this is what we're doing here. Max power. Yeah, I, uh, I made a test save just to see. And I'm going to delete almost all of these. Yeah, almost all of these. I'll keep this one around for sentimentality, but, you know. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be starting a new Fallout New Vegas game. So, one moment, everyone. I'm just going to boost game audio. And we'll get started. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. 
what seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Fantastic opening, it's still to this day. So yeah, it's been well over 10 years, actually just over 10 years, since uh, Fallout New Vegas came out. So, all the DLC's on, and I'm playing on very hard. So I'm not getting rid of it, because I'm going to need it. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? My name's Arizona Tex. Because I think Tex is a good name for a cowboy. And I am actually from Arizona in the, the real world. I'm going to turn the game audio back down, by the way. There we go. Uh, also, I think it's kind of silly that uh, you would have two states in your name, so I like that. Arizona, Texas, it is. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, Thank I you hope kind. you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. But you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Well, first of all, Doc, I'm supposed to be a woman, but I guess I'll roll with it. Which of these four races are you? This really looks like a frogman, by the way. Yeah, let's find a good preset and work from that. Yeah, let's find a passable preset and work from that. It looks like there's only four randomizations, but that's fine. See, I don't want to play around too long with this because I'm not really good at character creators. My wife is, but I'm only all right. Oh God, I'm already fucking it up. Yeah, my wife's much better at character creators than I am. God, I, ha I hate whenever you move a bar and it starts to move other bars. See, this makes him look eternally surprised, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, that makes him look a little more stern. He's got like a weird scar here. That's fine. I don't really care. Gotta fix this chin. Forward and broad and deep? No. That's good. That's alright. That'll do. Okay. I 
I really hate that it just changes other bars whenever you move your bars. So yeah, that intro is pretty solid for those who don't know what the fuck Fallout is. But yeah, Fallout's an RPG set after the apocalypse. People were kept alive in vaults. You know, tale as old as time. What are we going for? This is actually what Arizona Techs had, if you recall. See, a lot of these just look bad. I, I mentioned it that um, a lot of Fallout hairs are just like... Well, a lot of things in Fallout, really, are... This is closest to what I have in real life, so I guess we'll go with that. Uh, not, now that I'm looking at him, his face looks fucking weird. I think it's his cheeks. Oh my god, that's as small as they go. Or maybe it's his jaw. Oh, that is much better, yeah. I really should have waited until my wife got home so she could help me. Yeah, so New Vegas is actually, um, I mentioned this in my playthrough of Honest Hearts, but there's a few things about Fallout involving rights and stuff. And uh, Fallout New Vegas is an example of the original writers getting a hold of their game's rights. No, but I'll take well, it. I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good oh boy. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow. Boy, hon, howdy, hooey. I sure do gotta use the W key to walk. I'm getting a phone call for some reason. Pardon me, everyone. Alright, sorry about that. Robot Eiler, but... I like to eat up their time. Also, it might have been important, because no one calls me. So, just my mic stand. All right, we're back. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back up. All right. So, I'm going to uh, do this all at the very end. Strength. It's strength. Strength will tell you how easily a cowboy tote to saddle and those bigger firearms. Or how much hubby's gonna be for you in a saloon brawl. Goes from wet noodle, peach jellyfish, doughy baby, lightweight, average joe, barrel chested, peach bully, circus strongman, doomsday pecs, and Hercules' bigger cousin. We're a beach bully. Perception. A perceptive cowboy always knows when there's a lit stick of dynamite nearby. Or a varmint sneaking up on him. Deaf Bat, Senile Mole, Squint and Newt, Unsuspecting Trout, Wary Trout. Those are my two favorites. Uh, Alert Cowboy, Big Ad Tiger, Monocled Falcon, Sniper Hawk, and Eagle with Telescope. Eagle with Telescope's pretty good. Endurance. Can't keep a good cowboy down, not if he's the Endurance type. And not if he's got a six shooter or the size of all Tarnation. Basically dead. Crumbly. Do not bend. Handle with care. Stain resistant. Hardy, tough as nails. Uh, flame retardant, bulletproof, and unstoppable. We're going to be flame retardant. You'll find there's some smooth-talking cowboys out there that got themselves a voice that sounds like an angel's harmonica. Misanthrope, old hermit, creepy undertaker, peevish librarian, substitute teacher, cheery salesman, diplomat, movie star Casanova, and cult leader. So for those who don't know D&D, these are basically all the D&D stats, except dexterity is renamed to agility. Um, and Wisdom is renamed to Perception, and Constitution is renamed to Endurance. And just like D&D, you may be familiar with the concept of a dump stat, which is the stat that you suck all the points out of to better feed everything else. Intelligence. A smart cowboy's gotta have, uh, gotta be good at most anything, from sucking the poison out of your rattler bot to fixing your broken wagon angle. Alright. We need... 
Oh, sub brick, vegetable, cretin, knucklehead, knowledgeable, gifted, smarty pants, know it all, genius, and omniscient. Did I read these? Uh, yeah, I did. Agility. When a fella is in a six uh, in a gunfight and the other guy shoots six times before they can get off a shot, it's because that fella is agile. Walking disaster, accident prone, oaf, butterfingers, under control, cat like knife thrower, knife catcher, acrobatic marvel, and walks on water. Yeah, I think that's. Luck. Some folks claim not to believe in luck, but when you hear them losing a duel, you'll hear them say, That lucky son of a gun? 16, uh, 13 pitch black cats. Broken gypsy mirror. Ooh, I don't know if that aged well. Sickly albatross. I think that's a, a reference to the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Spilled salt. Coin flip. Stack deck. Lucky seven. Leprechaun's foot. 21 cleaf lover and two headed coin flip. All right. So normally you would do this here. Let's see. Yeah, we need um I'm going to switch around luck and agility. I think luck is only good on the even numbers and 7's enough anyway. Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. He well, says that if you don't have a maxed out stat, I believe. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a bighorn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Sit on my couch, boy. Somewhere. Come on. It's not creepy. See, he's got a weird voice. It's not that he's like a freak, but like, it's unusual. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Bark. House. Shelter. Night. Dream. Bandit. Kill. Crush. Light. Kill. Dark. Mother. Fucker. Cookie jar. Human shield. Jeez. Jeans. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. No opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Strongly agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Little disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Shadow in a door frame. Okay. How about this one? Yeah. Last one. So that's two bears high-fiving. That's the origin of that thing. It's so obviously two bears high-fiving. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. All right. Oh, that isn't bad. We're doing um, melee weapons instead of unarmed, and we're doing medicine instead of science. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty solid. That's pretty good already, actually. Actually, I want barter. Yeah, that's better. Because it just adds 15 points, so I just want to round myself out a little more. I'll need barter. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Well, you'd be surprised, Doc. All right. So this one is good. This one's okay. This is all right. This is good and it's the opposite of this. <laughs> I can't even pick it. 
Uh, Wild Wasteland. Normally I would pick this, but I need the stats more. <laughs> hmm. This might be good, especially considering I'm later getting a thing to make my limbs cripple less, but... Hmm. So, uh, we're getting this, and yes, I'm going to do that gimmick with it. And yeah, we're going to grab that as well. Skill to all boost right. all skills. Hold on. Skill to Come boost all skills. I can't do an impression of Paul from Midden Squad. All right. Okay, just to check. It is set to very hard. Good. I don't even know if I can start taking uh, damage yet, but... This is going to be difficult. I haven't played New Vegas on very hard. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now. See, vaults aren't you pretty might important want such in New a Vegas. Thing after what you've been through, I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I won't make a habit of it. No, recommended. Yeah. Okay. Make a little save over there. And let's quick save. And let's get myself kitted out. Oh my god. Oh dear. How oh did a dear dear dear? I know how to play this game. That you can count on. Uh 12 damage rating is pretty good. So do you get an achievement for this? Oh. I was going to try to kill him. Whatever. <laughs> you have discovered good springs. Yep. 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 All right. So, yeah, I was sitting and thinking, like, do I really want to play New Vegas again? You know, do I want to play it for the channel? Do I want to go shoot those bottles? Do I want to, you know, do all of this all over again? And the answer is yes. I decided that yes, I do. Yep. So that's all the DLC is being added. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. What? Hey! Had enough? Damn. Had enough, he asks. You stupid son of a gun. Alright. Just make sure you know that I could do it if I wanted to. But I won't on account of me being a nice fella and all. Boy, five shots with a shotgun to take down one unarmed settler is not impressive, I must say. In fact, I would put that as the antithesis to impressive. Like, unimpressive. Or, uh, pathetic, perhaps. Alright. 
Howdy, Easy Pete. Well, this tumbleweed seer says that we gotta have a duel, so you know what this means. Whippersnapper. Draw. Well, ain't that just a kick in the head? That's what I call the farmer on the viper. We'll uh, head back there. Good morning, Sonny. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. I'm the same way. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Ooh, uh, sounds like I'm about to learn about the sacred art of prostitution. Boy, that thing is not stopping. But yeah, I like Fallout New Vegas, and I feel like I have enough to say about it. Let it be known, though, that uh, this is going to be a very long LP. And it's also going to be uh, similar to the Morrowind LP that I attempted, and that I will come back to this year. Unless I'm posting this at the end of 2020, in which case, I mean, you know, next year. But yeah, I feel like I have enough to say about this. Oh, of course, this door has to be. Howdy. Now. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. The varmint rifle. Now I must be on. Oh, those. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help. You. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Darn critters? Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. And a tutorial. I think I've learned enough. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. What is this thing? I am holding a varmint rifle. Well, ain't that splendid? Man, the condition is not good. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to switch that out. Starting with a laser pistol, huh? Interesting. <sighs> I might have to sell that. I'd like to hold on to all this shit as quick as I as for for as long as I can. But yeah, this caravan shotgun can actually carry you a decent way. Well, why don't I get myself into trouble over here? Ah, back. I don't want to rebuild my character yet. I'd like to hold on to that nickel for as long as I can, but it gives that option to you as soon as you... Uh, like leave good springs wherever that actually is just kind of irritating where are you at sonny hear that up on the ridge behind me there bunch of little monsters is what they are seems like doc mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else let's see if we can get a little closer if we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More mm. likely to hit something vital that way. Well, based on this tune, uh, sounds like I've already alerted a few of them. And I would say I'm sorry for that, but I don't really care. All I want to do is shoot things. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Oh, that's it. Come on. Okay, that ain't bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Maybe this won't be so bad. Come 
famous last words, but you know. I get XP for that, right? I'm just gonna check one last time. It says very hard. See? You're getting the hang of it. You're goddamn There's right. Wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Let's kick some ass, yeah? Going a little 19, uh, 1940s gangster there. So yeah, while thinking about it, I was like, you know what, yes, I absolutely do want to play through all of this shit again. I got distracted. They saved some for the rest of us. I just gotta get some bucket water. Nothing good ever comes in a bucket. Good spring source, eh? Wow. I don't think I've ever saved this woman before. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you've done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. <laughs> yada yada. All right. Yeah, I don't think I've ever saved that one before. That's cool. Maybe it has to do with very hard mode being on. Because it could be on account of um, difficulty making NPCs have more health. Now that was Thus, good even work. people on my side have more even health. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. 50. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, it couldn't hurt. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. See, I'm doing this partially to get Thank you. bonus uh, XP early on, and partially just because I want the loot. Because, boy, am I going to need it. Yeah, it's really going to help me to ease into this adventure because, oh my god. The thing about Bethesda games... I don't know why I'm doing this when I'm not in character. I don't need to be, but you know me. The thing about Bethesda games is... Um, usually their difficulty is really more a time of how long it takes until the game gets easy. What I mean by that is... Uh... No matter what, any Bethesda game is going to get easy. Like in Fallout 4, at some point you're going to be this god wearing steel armor, you know, wearing power armor with a minigun or something else ridiculous and killing everything in a second with it. Great, one whole XP, huh? But yeah, at some point, you're going to be this, like, super god Dovahkiin. Or Nureverine, or whatever the guy's name is in Oblivion. And, like, no one's really going to be able to stop you. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Oh, boy. Do it like survival horror. Back your ass up into the corner. I'm starting to run dry on these already. That's a uh, that's not a good sign, I must say. Okay, that's important. I'll need that. Oh, 
Oh boy. God damn it. Come on. But yeah, just... Oh my god, I don't have enough even now. At some point, the game just will be easy. It's just that sometimes that takes longer. Okay. So let's try and find a few... Here we go. I can't believe how many years I've been playing uh, Modern Fallout. Probably like at least eight years, and I didn't know about this. Jessica. Wow. Wow. Really? Oh, boy. My stats are going to be uh, pretty vital here. Also, due to the nature of this game, this will be a more chilled out, slow experience. Okay. Pluming is closer. Sounded. Ah, brother. I know how to enter vats. On that, you don't need to worry. Carrier, huh? Godlike. Morning was closer. So this is the first big challenge, huh? Maybe we'll come back later. Start over at the beginning. Oh, one room schoolhouses, huh? I'm missing it, aren't I? It's right in front of my fucking face and I can't see it. I, uh, I know what Xander roots look like, right? I've played this game. I'm supposed to know these things. Jalapenos. Oh God. Sorry, everyone, on account of my stupidity. Okay, one more time. God, Jesus. Well, let's try shooting for one of these and see if we can get it off the radar to help me stop confusing myself. Oh, boy. Ooh, locksmith reader. That's good. Help me pick a lock. It's not like I'll need uh, a lot of those, right? Here's hoping, at least. See, so yeah, Fallout is a very good game. I would say it is an important game to me. Uh, which, of course, makes me upset about its current state. Because boy is fall Fallout is essentially being farmed out. Oh yeah. Oh man, six shots. More than enough to kill anything that moves, right? I'll burn through this thing. Anyone else want some? I've got some. Don't think I don't. Bees, huh? The the delay on vats can actually be really dangerous. 
That's in the critical thing. I might just want to turn it off, but like, yeah, especially in melee. All right. What are we looking for? Right, need a shovel. Xanderud and Brock. Let's put this gun away. On account of me being a nice kind feller. I haven't killed a human yet, actually. I've always really appreciated New Vegas' is very slow... Actually, no, not even slow. Just an opening that allows you to take it at its own pace. There we go. Because if you want, you can just run directly to Caesar's Legion. And if you don't, you can hang out in Good Springs for an hour. Eat up time in the first episode of your LP so you can build up strength so you're not going in completely worthless. All right, now I should be able to find that a little easier. But yeah, I was looking at um, Fallout 4, because I was thinking about doing um, just the DLCs for New Vegas. And uh, then playing Fallout 3 to 100% completion. And the thing is, Fallout 3 is currently for sale on Steam. However, uh, it doesn't work. I don't know how Bethesda is really allowed to sell it. Because Fallout 3 on Steam does not really work. You can buy it and download it, but it only is really optimized for Windows 7. Meaning that it's nearly unplayable in the uh, modern day and age, because who has Windows 7 anymore? Someone told me that I should just get the uh, good old games one instead, so... Oh my god, I'm blind. So that's what I'm doing. Um, however, that isn't on sale. And I'm cheap and poor, so... I'll be doing that later. If you can gather. Howdy, partner! Oh, he said howdy! Shit! Run over. Yeah, I'm just bumbling around blindly here. I'm also rechecking my notes to make sure that I'm doing the right things. Uh, I am. On that, you can be sure. I want to get enough uh, XP to not level up. If that makes sense. I'm doing something very specific where I'm trying to um, get as much stuff as I can in the early game before I uh, get the opportunity to remap all my stats. So yeah, Fallout 1 and 2 have a, like, a very specific arc they're going for, and then Fallout 3 kind of shoots it to shit. But that's why New Vegas is so important, because it really allows like a confirm and like conclusion to a lot of that arc. This is a good sign, right? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to it's that campfire that on account now. Of how it heals Give it a try. And it's powder. Yeah, the next thing I'm looking for is a trail carbine, and if possible, the medicine stick. But that might be a little bit uh, on account of me needing to... On account of me needing to uh, beat dead money to get enough cash to buy it. That's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe yeah, um, is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Eating raw meat Sometimes is really bad in survival mode. Meat. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. Sounds like I she need to meet her. Newcomers. 
She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Well, what's a fellow like me to do when I ask to say howdy to a mom? You know what a fellow's to do. Go hog wild. God. This LP is a mistake. So I always thought that, um... Doc Mitchell and Cheyenne, Cheyenne, Sunny Smiles were meant to be um, sort of takes on other Fallout heroes. Not necessarily that like, oh, Doc Mitchell is the chosen one from Fallout 2 and Sunny Smiles is the, what's the kid's name? Lone Wanderer from Fallout 3. But um, Sunny Smiles does look very similar to a lot of the art of the Lone Wanderer. I've lost her. Because she, um, she got the rifle on her back, uh, and I think it's, it evokes the same kind of imagery of the Lone Wanderer walking through with dog meat. And Doc Mitchell grew up in a vault, but later moved out. Um, and to me, you know, you could see that he's kind of like the guy from Fallout 1. And, yeah, it just kind of... It interests me because it's like, hey, here are the heroes from the older games. And I don't know if that's the actual intent, but like, work with me here. Th ima imagine, if you will. Here are the heroes in the other games and they're passing the torch to you. Doc Mitchell literally passes the Pip-Boy to you. And he says, here, this is yours now. Of course, his accent isn't that charismatic, but you know. It's weird that I picked such a sexy voice for uh, Arizona Red. Or at least I'm of the opinion that it's a sexy voice. Uh, and yet he's such a schlub, charismatically and perceptively. Chet. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also Oops. got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous What's section. happening? There. Uh-oh. Pay for. Okay, I think we're good. Show me what you have for sale. Can do. All right. I'm going to need to keep 44 10 millimeter rounds. I want for them. I want them for now, but I don't need them. I can burn that. <laughs> Big iron, eh? I don't need that. I don't... Mm, I don't need that. I need that because I have a melee build. Give me... Give me money for that. Go ahead. Oh, that's drugs. I need that, yeah. Uh, I need the food... Take that, that. I don't really have a spec for energy weapons right now. Um, I'll keep the gecko eggs for now because I might need them later for uh, something I'm aiming to do. Uh, I just sold all that, so go ahead. Take those. Well, maybe dead. Texas red after Texas red all right um yeah okay ammo god damn I'll need these at some point so I may as well get them here and I'm gonna need a buckshot. I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll hold off on these for now. Pool cue. Uh, I'll take a shovel. And I'll take a varmint rifle on account of me needing one to fix up my crap. Um, that'll do me just fine, Another sir. Thank you. Customer. Take it easy. I want everyone to know that I did just uh, tip the hat I'm not wearing at him. Okay. 
we're going to do something a little dangerous here. Assuming it works. I'm not going to shoot Easy Pete in the head again. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? <laughs> oh my god, it totally worked. It totally worked. Yes! Un. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. His friends might come <laughs> looking for him, and I don't think they're going to care who was involved in his death or not. Well, what's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. All right. Well, where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. <laughs> so normally what you can do is either make a choice on, um, like either you can decide, oh, I'll side with the town and, you know, kill the powder gangers or I'll kill Ringo and go get the, uh, um, go get in on the powder gangers. And that's what I just did. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Never mind. All right. Who was the man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Show me what you have for sale. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Ooh, I'll be back later. Goodbye. Be careful out there. Actually, wait. I'm gonna mash through a dialogue, everyone. I'm sorry. Feeling thirsty? Oh, I'm sure thirsty. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn. Most trout. Sir, I wasn't paying attention. I was busy getting lost in your eyes. Did you give me the key to Ringo's house or something? On account of, I'm thinking I might need that. Well, let's head on in. Oh, we're heading west. And what if there was a mod that just started, like, playing music anytime you headed west? There we go. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Is that Yuri Lowenthal? I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? What are the rules of caravan? It's a two-player game. And the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids. This is weird. Your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. Careful, I'm going to shoot you. you. Caravan Never mind. Casino. Do you want to play a card game? Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. This is so You'll creepy. also need a deck, so, so take one of my spares. So. You feel like playing a game? Let's play. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. Okay. Match. Uh, accept.
I guess I'll randomize it. Okay, play caravan. Eight is a bigger number than four, right? Ten is bigger than nine. Four is bigger than two. Uh-huh. Oh, you can put the ace down to... You can't. Okay. This is a little strange, I must say. Oh, I think I understand it. No, I don't. I don't understand what I'm doing at all. Oh, here we go. That's something I can do, I guess. Okay, I guess 40 is the maximum. What is happening? I'll be honest, I don't rightly know what I'm doing. I'm sure everyone was expecting to see like a gunfight or something. How do I draw? I guess I discard, huh? Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. How do I lose? Hold on, I'll come back when I've lost. If nothing else, I just want to stop playing. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whoops. All right. I finally lost. Uh, it took me like another bit. Um, I was planning on reloading the save to before I uh, lost, but also um, there's a challenge to lose at Caravan, so... Um, I'll just keep stealing this stuff out from under him. Like, God, just imagine someone walks in, you point a gun at them. They're like, yeah, hold on a sec. And then you're like, oh, sorry, do you want to play cards? Ooh. A doctor's bag and yeast. I'm thinking that I could pour that into someone and they'd get an infection. What is it? Uh, I killed Joe Cobb. Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found me. 
Cobb's friends are the bigger problem. And when he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. There's no way I can fight them all. What I'm you gonna, gonna do? low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. You need a hired gun. I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. I'll do it. I'll have to do. What now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around, see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. All right. Now we just bunny hop on back. So I did kill Ringo for, uh, not Ringo. I killed Joe Cobb for an important reason. And that is... He doesn't show up in this fight anymore. Sonny. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. Well, it was both. I'm going to help Ringo take on the gangers. I need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Even though Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Goodbye. I'll be waiting. Okay. So, they all have very specific things that they need. I don't know if I have enough for any of them. But we'll see, shall we? You looking to buy some supplies? I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. You know I do. Take it easy now. Okay. Let's make a little savey save. Evening. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I hear you got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives, dynamite included. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Okay. Hmm. What do I need? Uh, sneak is good. These are all good. You know what that means. Perfect. Hmm. I don't really need more XP. I'll level up eventually, you know? Um. Let me see here. I'm going to need that at some point. I might need that. That takes level four. Okay. Confirm bachelor it is. 
So do I get to remap myself or? I'm gonna just walk out of town and see here. Head towards that big old crucifix, mayhaps. I didn't know that you could actually get uh, a level before being offered the ability to, re uh, to reset your character. Kind of weird, I must say. It's a coyote. Quick, decapitate him with your shotgun. There we go. Rebuild character. Yeah. Uh, I think this is what we had, right? I don't really need that anymore, so I may as well tag melee weapons. Um... Or that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wait, what just happened? Why did I get 201 XP? Oh, I'm level one again. My repair skill could do with some more size, but that's okay. Get at me, coyote. Come on. Damn. Oh, he made sad dog noise. Why? Okay, this is bugged. I'm going to need to reload that save. I'll grab the remap and then I'll... Uh... Is it here? Yeah, that, that's got to change. I guess that's why you uh, typically don't level up before you get that re remap. I wonder if they just didn't test that or if I just fucked it up on account of me being me. Both are entirely uh, probable. Okay, now I've got to outrun these coyotes. Here we go. I'm trying to do a thing here. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Boy, my character looks stupid. Uh, how's my health doing? I'm all right. Come on, Vatsim. Yeah, get him. Well, ain't that just perfect? Peachy Keen, in fact. Um, let's do some Monch. There we go. That'll do. And then we'll go around and finish up this quest. And then I can get my level for real reels. Alright, now that I've tagged melee weapons, I don't need to put points into it. Who are you? Way too many strangers coming into oh, town Rando. these days. No offense. Where's Easy Pete then? Actually, I can just go to Doc Mitchell's house. <laughs> I love how this thing has been here for, what, 300 years? 
I know Fallout takes place in the weird future past, but... Sometimes it is just strange how, like, no one fixed anything. Talk to me, Doctor. Welcome back. Town's gonna be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. They'll be using explosives. Do you have anything for some more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. You take care now. Perfect. Actually... So because I've got Logan's loophole, I'm immune to getting addicted to drugs. Meaning I can freely use them. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna rob Doc Mitchell's house and sell his own crap back to him so I can get some free... Uh, essentially free medical supplies. Just let me saunter on over, do you, Doc? I'll be right here. See, I'm gonna need doctor's How bags. Normally those are just, um... Normally doctor's bags are just good healing items, but in... Uh... Extreme mode, they become a lot more... Important. They are... Uh, what heals your broken limbs. At least I think so, if I remember right. All right. Here, Doc, have some yeast. I'm sure that'll tickle your fancy. I'll hold on to these for now. Oh, yeah, also he's out of shit. Well. That'll do for now. I want to try and keep as much uh, in his inventory that I can because I'll need him to uh, he, he's going to be my dumping bag for the first bit of it him and Chet not so much Trudy though maybe it will be actually Some days you get locked out of the safe you deserve. You know, maybe I'll just find a bed and sleep in it. Give me the gourd, son. Of course, that means that I'll need to find a bed, which could be a little problematic. See, one thing that you could do in New Vegas is that you could destroy ammunition. And then get it back and have more ammunition. You know, make it into ammunition you actually want. You also automatically get the supplies for it sometimes, but I don't entirely understand how it works yet. Uh, it was something that I don't even remember if it was in the game when I first played it. Ringo, get up. So what's going on? Sun is with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready. Stay here for now. All right. Fuck. What's the plan? Oh. Fuck. Damn it. I don't want to wait, but there might not be an option. This is going to be a real kick in the head. There we go. So yeah, the issue with sleeping is that it'll make you hungry. The issue with sleeping is that it'll make you hungry. I should try to limit my uh, cowboy voice until I'm actually in character. Oh. Maze. All right, gotta grab Easy Pete's dynamite again. 
Oh, Easy Pete knows you ain't worthy of that dynamite. You'll never be worthy. On account of you being a city slicker. Easy Pete's a classist, you see. Oh, and here. Morning. Bastard. Howdy. Level up. Okay. Um. Let's push guns to 40. To 45. Along with melee weapons. And then we'll kick explosives up by one. Um. And I believe the powder gangers are all supposed to be men. So we'll grab that. Also, like nearly all my characters, they're all bisexual. Howdy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big... Uh, we're a little outnumbered. Could you help? Or... Near the saloon and store, good spots to stage an ambush if I had the help. That does sound like a good plan. Alright, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. So, um, something I wanted to mention. No matter what, these two live in this house together. Now, it could just be two friends hanging out together, you know, being gals, but come on, it's Fallout. If they're not in a homosexual relationship, I'll eat my hat, my cowboy hat that I currently don't have. And then uh, the Good Spring Settler that I saved moves in with him as well. She's around here somewhere. Yeah, Nameless Good Spring Settler moves. Yeah, there, there she is. Now again, could just be, you know, two gals who happen to rent a house together taking care of each other. And taking care of a third. But on the other hand... Ain't no law saying that you can't get a trio marriage going in Old Good Springs. We're old-fashioned that way. We just don't want to legalize things. Anyway, that's my headcanon. Sunny Smiles and Trudy are uh, lesbian and married, and uh, they either take care of or uh, married the uh, uh, unnamed Good Spring settler. I mean, they live in the same house. Come on. So, uh, a funny line is coming up. Not for, like, any specific reason. Where the hell is he? Oh my god! What the hell is he doing? What's the plan? Are we ready? You bet your ass! Alright, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Well, what a coincidence. At least six. They look pretty mean. Let's go. Oh, Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Oh, right. I'll be back for you, beautiful. On that, you can count. Oh, wait, that's a friend. So what I need to do is shoot all of them at least once. So yeah, also she says uh, at least... The, the line I referred to is that she says at least six. There's, uh, there's five guys here. Because I already shot Joe Cobb. So he's not in this fight. Yeah, so you can get XP uh, for shooting them, as long as you clip them at least once. Where is this last guy? Wow, he's a ways away. Both of them are. Uh, guys?
Game crashed. <laughs> One moment, everyone. Hey, howdy, and we're back. Alright, clip that one. Oh, you want to tussle? Try me, ugly. So this was actually what I was worried about most. Had enough? Had enough? He asks. Nice. Much easier. All right. Let's see if we can fix up some of my shit. Another one of those. I'll sell that. That's a that's a worthless gun. I'll put that on. Let's see. 15 pounds. Hmm. Not any bad at all. I'll upgrade that, or fix it rather, and that'll get me to the uh, to the store. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. The technicalities are my favorite. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Oh, you know I'm gonna visit New Vegas. Oh yeah. And we're encumbered. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't want to dump the sh... Well, actually, here's what I could do. What's the heaviest fucking thing in my inventory? Oh, and he had a shovel, too. So we'll drag this all the way over here. And then we can drag the other one, too. Assuming I can find it. Shit, I better not have lost that thing. <laughs> so yeah, that went really well. Um, obviously, having everyone on your side helps. And, you know, knowing that you're going to have to get everyone on your side will certainly help you. That'll give me 60, and that should get me back up to full. Here it is. Because, yeah, a lot of people just don't know that they're going to need to do that many checks that early. And then it becomes a whole thing. That was a hell of a fight. Show me what you got for sale, Andy. son. Um, that's okay. That is crappy. Take these off my hands. Um, and I'll hold on to everything else. Now for these. I want to keep this. Because, yeah, this is double the weight, but only four more uh, damage threshold. So I'll sell this and I'll put this on. I have no interest in wearing powder ganger clothes. No interest in baseball cap. This is mostly for the fashion, isn't it? I guess I can keep that for the... Uh, TT. See, normally this would be good, but because I've got this, it's not. Oh, I can hold on to it for the sentimentality. All right. Let's see if there's anything else I need. Boxing tape. Oh, is that a weapon? Oh, it's it's just tape. That's funny. I'll take one of those, if you please. Throw a hatchet. I'll need that. Uh, 
I'm trying to pick up that gun as early as I can. Yeah. That's useless to me. And then I'll grab some food. Since I'm probably going to need it. Uh, I don't actually need this as well. I really love this game's um, uh, bartering system. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Thank you kindly, sir. Take it easy now. On that, you can count your... I don't know, your somethings. That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. All right. Keep your... Morning. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. I need to get a prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Goodbye, then. Until next time. Thank you. And then we'll talk to Trudy. Thanks again for all your help. Yeah, no, I'm not playing a, I'm not playing a card game with you again. I'm glad that business. Um, show me what you have for sale. Got a spell. All right. Dynamite, I actually, um, I'm planning something where I'm going to get a bonus for using it, so I might as well keep that on me. I'll need this. I need this. Moonshine, eh? I like the sound of that, especially since I can't get addicted to it. Boy, it sure is nice being me. I'll actually sell this. Oh shit, I've just realized I'm naked. Uh, one moment, ma'am. Pardon my giblets out, but I forgot that I sold my clothes to give myself some more money. There, that's a little better. Oh, I've lost karma. Well, ain't that just a kick in the head. That's a great first episode. Did the first big side quest. Build my character up nice and strong. Plan for the future. Hardless stole anything. I will say, I'm notorious for my sticky fingers pretty much everywhere. So, I wouldn't be too wary of me being all goody two-shoes. I'm chaotic good. That's something you're just going to have to abide by. All right. Um, wow, yeah, that's the first episode. I guess I'll make a save. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Arizona Tech's Takes on the Mojave. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.